Hi my friends, how are you doing this morning? This is Pamela from Butterfly Holistic Nutrition. And today we want to talk about cholesterol. Um, last week I attended a talk uh, from Lorna Vanderhege. Maybe you've seen my uh, pictures that I posted. And um, there were a lot of questions in the audience uh, from mainly women um, who, you know, go through menopause and who struggle with their hormonal health. So I see we have a, a few people joining us, so welcome on this uh, little video today. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for watching. It's beautiful and sunny today, so I need to be outside and, and do it here. I hope you can see me okay. Let me know if it's too dark. My phone's not telling me if this is good, but uh, if it is, um, I hope you can see me well. So today we want to talk about cholesterol. And so these women had a ton of questions about their hormonal health when they were going through menopause. And, uh, you know, this woman is so patient. She answered all of them. It was just amazing. And, you know, when you go through menopause, you start to struggle um, with all kinds of different things, right? You, I mean, we know the common ones like hot flashes and weight gain and, uh, you know, mood swings and so on. So those are the typical ones. But what some people don't realize is also that, especially if your thyroid uh, suffers a bit during that time, that your cholesterol goes up. And even if you had never any issues with your cholesterol before, all of a sudden um, the cholesterol goes up and you don't really know why. You haven't made a ton of changes, so you don't understand what's happening. And if you go to your doctor, they often, not always anymore, thank God, but sometimes they still want to give you medication you know, statins, that's what they're called for lowering cholesterol, which have a ton of side effects and they're actually not safe. So a few doctors are already backing off of them, which I appreciate. Um, but so there are other things you can do. And um, I get this asked all the time, like, what supplements do I need to take for uh, lowering cholesterol? And I say in this case, um, my best advice to lower cholesterol is vegetables. That's actually true. It's the best thing you can do um, to lower your cholesterol um, because you need more vegetables, you need more minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants to support your body in its healing ability. Because why do you have cholesterol or why does your body make more cholesterol in the first place? So cholesterol is there as a, I always picture it as a, as a glue. It's a fixing agent. Right? So when little blood vessels um, pop in your, in your uh, body, you know, the cholesterol goes and, and, and patches it up and fixes it. So if, you, if your cholesterol all of a sudden goes up, that means, you know, your inflammation is getting higher. So something is happening in your body why the body needs more cholesterol. And then people were asking, well, do I need to cholesterol for my diet? Well, here's my take on that. We're using just about 20% of the cholesterol from our diet um, we're using in the body to, to, uh, to ma manufacture these uh, cholesterol molecules. The body actually makes it itself. So the, when the cholesterol shoots up and you haven't changed anything in your diet, it's most likely not diet related. It is related to you having more inflammation. And as we go through hormonal changes, especially at those times, um, things are shifting. You know, we might experience more inflammation, especially if we haven't taken care of our bodies uh, at least 10 years prior to menopause. And those tend to be our busy years, right? If we're raising kids, we're having aging parents, we're having a house, we're having work, we're having like all kinds of things. So in our late 30s and 40s, we're extremely busy doing all these things. So we might not necessarily take care enough of our bodies and then we experience these things and cholesterol is related, for example, to um, um, a hypothyroid state, you know, an underperforming thyroid. So we need to look at the body in its entirety um, when it comes to cholesterol. So my advice is vegetables because that's really the best way to lower cholesterol. And now you might say, well, I'm eating vegetables every day. Yes, maybe, but I'll show you a trick how you can measure if you're eating enough vegetables, if you want to lower your cholesterol. Do you know these 
I have to admit it's plastic, which I don't like. But if I come up with a better solution, I'll let you know. You know those Ziploc bags? Right? They come in all sizes. You need to buy the large medium, uh, the large size Ziploc bag. And you fill those up with vegetables and preferably green vegetables, green leafy vegetables. Right? Not just don't put all, all the carrots in here. Okay? So leafy vegetables, green leafy vegetables. And when this Ziploc bag is full, you have your fair share of vegetables a day uh, for your attempt to lower cholesterol. So, but you need to eat this every single day. So, and now you might say, okay, well, maybe I'm not eating that much. But that's actually important, right? You need to have a certain amount of vegetables if you really want to help your body overcome a certain issue. Just like a little side dish of vegetables once a day is not enough in quantity and we preferably like you to eat uh, leafy greens um, um, uh, for that purpose as well. So get out your Ziploc bag and fill that up and see how much you're eating throughout the day. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting your responses. Let me know if that's the amount of uh, vegetables you're actually eating on a, on a daily basis. And um, if you have any other questions about cholesterol, feel free to ask away and uh, send me a message. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.